Bhakti Yoga means to unite with God through devotion. This practice is uh, grounded in the uh, Vedic scripture philosophy and it's teaching how to love because actually we are made out of love. We are trying to learn this uh, in relationship with the main source. For example, Jesus is a son of God and all his followers identify themselves also as a God's child. Some nouns, uh, they wearing wedding rings, symbolizing their relationship with him. So similarly, we also try to find our relationship with him and develop this. I hear from my spiritual master that philosophy without religion lacks of taste and religion without philosophy is fanaticism. I came in contact with this philosophy somehow by chance. I was always attracted to India, so one day I bought a ticket for staying there two months and the first city I visited it was Vrindavan which is called the city of the 5000 temples. This is one of the main source of our practice and also it's a destination of many pilgrimages that are following this philosophy. When I went there I felt immediately at home because I could I could see in their devotional activities many of the Japanese ones that in the West are totally upset. In Sofia there are four Hindu temples, each one of them have deities that represent certain kind of moods. I also like to attend the mantra meditation where we sing mantras accompanied with different instruments, also Indian instruments. Here in Veda House there are different gate rings like lecture, reading from scriptures, Vedic cooking courses, henna painting and so on. For every subject, if you're really interested and you want to make progress, you need a teacher. For example, if a child has the potential to become a master in quantum physics, you can jump directly to the university. There are some steps you have to pass through and you definitely need a good teacher to bring out the potential in you. In the same way, the progress on our spiritual path is related with our teachers and our level of understanding. There are always teachers ready to help you and they will come to you when you are ready for it. Also, there are people who imitate real teachers abusing their position. So my advice is to follow your heart with intelligence. In the end, sincerity will never fail.